Toby Coates is with us. He's a director of MMR, They're a specialist food and drink research agency based in Wallingford. Uh, morning, Toby. Morning, Phil. Um, car parking, is that, a, is that a, a big issue when it comes to um, helping to, to boost a, t- a town's retail offering? I think it is. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of challenges being faced by um, retailers in towns at the moment. Um, parking's obviously one of them. Um, it's not just the parking, but also the supporting infrastructure that goes with that, because it's all very well having parking spaces, but being able to actually get to the parking, get out of there, it is a challenge, particularly in Oxford itself. Um, but there are things that, that retailers need to do. They face lots of challenges. Obviously, online is a big challenge for them. Lots of people doing their shopping on the internet these days. Also, the supermarkets, which are getting a much larger share of, uh, of, of the cake than they used to with them, you know, having multiple lines, lots and lots of different categories that people can go and shop in the supermarkets. And they offer a lot of convenience to retailers in that they're easily accessible. They provide a safe shopping environment and they have generally easier parking. So I think that uh, retailers in the town centres can take a, a leaf out of the supermarket's books in some ways. They need to think about how they can create some of the convenience, which parking is, is a part of that the supermarkets mm. offer, and the safer uh, retail environment, so pedestrianisation and things like that are obviously a key part of that. But I think on an individual retailer level, there, there's other things that they need to be thinking about as well. The shops that are in town centre generally ha- tend to have specialisms. With those specialisms, they need they have the opportunity to bring some of the uh, the categories alive that the supermarkets are, are focusing on. Those supermarkets are spending quite a lot of time trying to create a better shopping experience for the shop and supermarkets. And I don't think that small retailers can ignore that. They really need to start to play up on the on the shopping experience. And one of the things that they can really do to help bring that alive is, is personal service. The, the whole supermarket experience can be a bit dry these days. I mean, mm. it really focuses on convenience. But people still love to go shopping. You know, they like the retail experience. Some of that's a bit missing in the supermarkets these days. And I think that in-town retailers can really start to play up on that experience and, and create a better um, a better shopping experience for, for consumers in general. But don't retailers lose out by creating this better shopping experience? We go to them, we, we, we get them to tell us about the, 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 the various toys or, 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 or implements or, or, or products, and then we just go and buy it online. Yeah, I mean, the price is always going to be a big factor in this, but I don't think they can underestimate the power that actual personal service actually still carries these days, and that's something, I think, where the internet really falls down. But even as we look at online retailers now, they're starting to build a much better consumer interface to the website it starts to they're starting to try and get more trying to get more of a personal touch in there and i think that we can't ignore that in the in the actual retail environment itself knowing people's names which is something i even i remember from 25 years ago is you know going in and seeing a retailer who actually knows your name and actually seems to care is is very very powerful and it seems to have got lost how, how how significant then? Uh, how significant uh, are the inroads that that the web is making? Uh, oh, the web are making into um, the way that we shop. When what, so so for instance, come 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 Christmas now. What what sort of? I don't know if you have any research on this, but what sort of proportion of our stuff will we have bought? physically over the counter compared to um, what we're getting uh, on, online. Yeah, I'm not sure what the exact percentages are, but it's, it's going to be significant, and I think it's getting bigger year on year at the moment. And that's, that, yeah. that's down to convenience and cost, is it? It is, yeah. I mean, you know, we're all kind of, even in these kind of recession times, we're all still cash-rich, time-poor a lot of the time. The internet really helps to, to play up to that and, and provides a service, but... I think Christmas is one of those occasions when the actual independent retailer can really get a bit of a, an advantage over the internet because people still like to take time out and enjoy the whole Christmas experience. And if you can bring the Christmas experience to the town and, and actually make it a proper day out for people with the convenience of actually being able to park, being able to access all the places that you want to go and have a good day out, mm-hmm. then it's, 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 got a, it's got a lot going for it. Look around the um, look around the county. Do you think any of our, our, our towns, uh, 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 or, or indeed Oxford, has has got it right, or is or is getting better in terms of its retail offering, whether it be um, uh, the the parking, the the range of shops, or, or whatever? Yeah, I think. I mean, I don't think Oxford does a particularly bad job of it at the moment. I mean, the parking's obviously the thing that gets everybody, but the, you know, the park and ride systems are there. I think there's, there's some of the other things that we need to play out. It's not just about providing 
a, a good retail experience. There's other supporting services as well that need to be prominent. You need to encourage people, to, if they're coming into town to do shopping, you want to be able to deliver other things as well. So, you know, having a, a good library service and, you know, creches and things like that, something that's going to bring people into town and actually enhance the whole experience for them is, is the key. So when, when it comes to yourself, when it comes to Christmas shopping this year, what will you be doing? Will you be going uh, out into, uh, into the shops or will you be uh, clicking online? You know, I'll do a little bit of both. I, I do do quite a bit of my shopping online. Um, but it's, it's for certain, certain goods, you know, some of that, the um, things that I, I know. And, uh, but I still like that personal touch. And I'll still be going into Oxford with the family and spending a day traipsing around the shops looking for, for something a little bit different and a little bit special. Lovely talking to you, Toby. Thank you so much. Toby Great. Coates Great. is a director of MMR. They're a specialist food and drink research agency based in Wallingford.